The government of Barbados has decided to halt its plans to purchase a three million pounds former plantation owned by British conservative MP Richard Drax, whose ancestors profited from slavery there in the 17th century. The 617-acre property, known as Drax Hall, was intended to be used for housing Barbadians, while the government also sought reparations from Drax for his family's historical involvement in slavery. Prime Minister Mia Motley announced the pause following significant public backlash, acknowledging Barbadians' discontent with the acquisition. She emphasized the need for further dialogue and potential resolution regarding reparations. Motley expressed the government's commitment to building 10,000 homes amid high housing demand but recognized the sensitivity and legal complexities surrounding the Drax Hall issue. Critics, including Barbados National Task Force on Reparations Chair Trevor Prescott and Poet Laureate Esther Phillips, condemned the acquisition as inappropriate, arguing that descendants of enslaved Africans should not be compensating descendants of enslavers. They called for Drax to relinquish the land as reparations instead. Despite these tensions, Motley underscored Barbados's adherence to legal processes, highlighting the necessity of fair compensation for any land acquisition. She also reiterated ongoing efforts to pursue reparations discussions with Drax and other parties implicated in Barbados's history of slavery and racism,